Hey there, Orbiters. Nick here. I'm outside today to make a video uh, with, you know, uh, come here. This is my doggie. This is Nova, the space name. She hates when I make videos, so you're going to get featured this time. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> okay, come on down. Um, last night I had a bit of a thought, and I wanted to make a video on it because I feel like it's important enough of a topic uh, that I feel like the the thing, like history is getting away from me the longer I think about it and not talk about it. So uh, today I want to talk about Space 2.0, which in other words might be uh, the new space age or the new space race. Uh, a lot of people are talking about it that way. Um, I've been reading a book called Space 2.0. I'll link it in the description. It's been fantastic. And at this point, I think it might be a year or two or maybe even three years old at this point. And, uh, the content, of course, in a book, it doesn't stay as relevant as the internet. So uh, a lot has changed even since that. And that even proves the point. Things are changing uh, in the space universe uh, rapidly. It seems like every week there's some new space thing going on. Uh, you know, a rover landing on Mars. Maybe there's, uh, you know, the latest Falcon 9 is launching from Kennedy Space Center. Uh, or there's, uh, you know, some new CEO is launching a new company. and. Every NASA is developing their new rocket. Uh, there's some programs and new astronauts. I mean, everything. It's it's happening so fast, and it's such a different way than it did during the Apollo era in the 60s and early 70s. So, why does this matter? I think the drive and the push to advance rocketry and the technology that supports it, and the human spaceflight and sustained human presence in space on you know on orbit or on the lunar surface or on Mars. I think is going to change the way that we live here on Earth. And you can see it rapidly. Now, last night I kind of had this revelation because I realized as of today, well, today's March 3rd. Yeah, March 3rd. So yesterday, March 2nd, 2021, I realized that me, a private citizen who has no astronaut experience, has now applied for three like civilian or citizen astronaut candidacies. That kind of like blew my mind when I, I realized that. I was like, three? Oh my gosh. Like, this, there's so much available. There's so much happening where everyday people like myself, maybe like you, my dog's whining, are going to have the chance to go to space. And you don't have to be this crazy experienced or highly trained astronaut. People are making space available to everybody. And... I think we all knew that that's where we wanted to be by the year 2000 and here we are in 2021 and nobody's really going to the moon or anything like that. Everybody's just going to low earth orbit. And if you do, you have to be a NASA astronaut or a cosmonaut uh, working for the government. <laughs> and that's not everybody. Everybody wanted to be living on space stations and, you know, orbiting the moon for fun and going on weekend trips to the Sea of Tranquility. I don't know. Uh, but I think we're really, really, really at ankle deep we're not even like toe deep, we're ankle deep. And I think before the end of the decade, 2030s, like bold claim or bold prediction here, I think there's gonna be, the life is gonna look completely different than it does now. I don't think it's gonna be the way that we know it. And I certainly think that the, digital, the digitization of uh, communication that has been forced upon us through this COVID crisis is changing the way we think and the way that we focus on our projects that we're working on. I think the space age 2.0, new space age, the new space race, is gonna fuel the advancement of civilization um, faster than it ever has before. It's gonna make the Apollo era seem like the tortoise in the race. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it's gonna affect every person. And you can see it because there's so many projects right now this year who are inviting everyday people to become part of their crews, to advance their mission, to be involved. No matter whether you're in America or Europe or Africa, like you are gonna be involved in this. You have the chance to be involved in this. We want you to be a part of this. And I think that's incredibly exciting. Uh, but if this is what it looks like now in the early 2020s, when everyday people are having a chance, think about in 10 years or 30 or 50 years when everybody is almost guaranteed the opportunity. Uh, I think that's gonna happen so much faster than we think. So anyway, Space 2.0 is going to be the ride of our lifetimes, the chance to go to space because you're a normal person. Um, and let me tell you, that's music to my ears, and I'm sure it is music to a lot of other people's ears who are chomping at the bit to learn and to experience microgravity or an orbit around the Earth or orbit around the moon 
or Mars uh, to walk on another terrestrial surface, that is not far off from being available to everybody. Well, the moon won't rise over there until, I don't know, 9 or 10 p.m. tonight, but when I see it tonight, I know I'm gonna be like, that is finally within reach. Uh, and I urge you guys to be out there looking for these opportunities that are coming up. Uh, you know, some of them have passed, but there's new ones every day. Just like yesterday, um, Yusaku Mazawa of Japan has been contracted with SpaceX to do the first Starship launch with people on it. And he's opening that to everyone around the world. So if you're in the next two weeks, I think the applications are open, go sign up if you want to go to space. Uh, join me in the pre-registration phase and they're going to vet you know, all the people for that. And even right now, a day later, I think they've tallied over 100,000 applications from around the world and that's incredible i'm sure it's going to grow i would be surprised if it wasn't you know half a million by the time the project was over um, and you know the inspiration four program the space for humanity program um, axiom space has civilian uh, astronauts you know uh, it's crazy there's going to be now there's like you know a handful just think about how in a few months or maybe in a few years hundreds of companies taking people to space at a time i saw an article about um, a space hotel by 2027. I mean, 400 people in space at a time living there for a vacation. I doubt that's gonna be the timeline it's gonna hit, but man, can you imagine? That's the stuff I wanna go to space for. That's the stuff I wanna help build. That's the stuff I wanna help uh, advance and make easier and cheaper. Uh, and I think that is just right around the corner in the, the short term of things. So uh, guys, get excited. Space 2.0, it's it's now, it's happening now, it's been happening for probably the last 15 years when Virgin started pushing that commercial space flight. SpaceX kind of came around the corner in the mid 2000s. Get excited, it's gonna be a great time. So anyway, Space 2.0, let's do it together. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. I wanna ask questions too. So let's discuss, let's learn about this new space era together. So with that, be on the lookout for new videos guys and uh, see you on the other side.